Well, you may have noticed more snake sightings than usual this winter. Case in point, here's a picture our Leslie Ackerson took of a snake that she found her curious dogs picking up and carrying it all over their yard. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny, though, explains <laughs> the milder temperatures send snakes slithering here in East Tennessee. I love snakes. Phil Cockliffe at Zoo Knoxville works with snakes all year long especially these big tropical species like pythons. This is a reticulated python named Dolly, and um, she is a big one. But this time of year, most species have stopped slithering and hit the snooze bar. It's a natural part of a snake's life cycle as they go through hibernation, so they're asleep for the winter. But during a warm winter that feels a lot more like spring, some snakes might uncoil and stretch. So it's a little early, but again, we've had a, we've had a really, really mild winter. Cockliffe says the rain is not much of a factor in snake sightings. It's usually all about the heat. Temperature is the big thing. If we get some breaks in the temperature, they'll, they'll come out and forage. They'll come out and um, bask a little bit and then just go back in when it gets cold again. But even when it's warm outside, it's the sun that tells them it's not quite time to go looking for food. They're not out eating food right now. They've got an internal clock. They know by the still short light cycles that it is not summertime yet. It is not time to go out and start foraging, start looking for food. Because the worst thing in the world for a snake would be to go out and eat a meal and not be able to digest that meal. Hibernating with a full belly can kill a snake. So chances are they're enjoying a little sunshine just like people. Basking, feeling good, stretching out. You get a little sunshine, you want to get out there and feel it. The only two venomous snakes in East Tennessee are copperheads and timber rattlers. And neither are likely to be out this time of year. Cockliffe says you're more likely to come across garter snakes or rat snakes, things that are good to have around the yard and in the environment. Like killing rats and saving our crops and don't pick them up. They're wild animals. Leave them alone. On the other hand, don't kill them. I mean, just, just leave them alone. I mean, they're there for a reason and they do some good things for our ecosystem. And if you come across one of these 19-foot pythons, well, you have issues beyond a mild winter. If someone sees a reticulated python in their yard, um, definitely call um, TWRA. In East Knoxville. Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Mm -mm. We have an online quiz to test your snake knowledge. See if you can tell the difference between a copperhead and a corn snake. All that at WBIR.com. It's tricky.